Hello everybody, today I will show you how to simulate a photonic crystal slab to get this version diagram. And specifically, I will choose this paper here to reprodu reproduce the results. So here I have a dielectric cylinder of epsilon of 12.5 and a period of A and the radius of the cylinder is R. So I open console and I choose already EWFD uh, sol uh, physics. And I also choose eigenfrequency from the study here. I will go to geometry, create my unit cell, rectangle, and a cylinder inside this one. But before I do so, I will add the parameters here. A, I will choose the unit cell period to be one meter. You can choose whatever you want. And R.2 times A. And I will choose kx, define it later, ky, and some parameter k. And this is made clear in this one here. So here I have my photonic crystal slab with all of these parameter radius, weights, and the permittivity. And what I need to do is to plot a dispersion diagram like this from m to gamma, from gamma to x, and from x to m on this prelion zone. <clears throat> and I will choose just one parameter, <clears throat> here I call it small k, such that when k is from 0 to 1, I will swap any, param any of the wave vector from m to gamma, and when k is from 1 to 2, I will sweep any parameter from gamma to x, and also k from 2 to 3, I will sweep any parameter from x to m. In this definition here, I should have kx using this definition and ky using this definition. I actually found this relation in the, this blog here. You can uh, look at for more details. <clears throat> so when k is from 0 to 1, I have kx should go from m to gamma. So I have this relation 1 minus k pi divided by a and also ky like this. And how to make this available in console? I have to choose the F condition here. So F, I will start by F. K is less than 1. Then you have to make the expression for Kx. It's by divided by A multiplied by 1 minus K. Otherwise, if K is less than 2, you have to define it like k minus 1 times by divided by a. Finally, else, you have to keep it just by divided by a. Okay? And similarly, I can do this for ky, but I will have just to change some parameter because in the second region I have ky equal to zero and in the third one ky swap from zero to pi over a. So this one is k minus two multiplied by pi over a. And so when I change k from zero to three I will swap all the region here from zero to one from 1 to 2, from 2 to 3. All right. I go to the geometry, create my unit cell, create some rectangle with width A and height A. I choose the corner 0 and 0. Then I choose the cylinder, as we said, with radius R. And the base is A by 2 and A by 2 here. I go to the material, choose built-in. I'll choose air twice because I have here around the cylinder, I know that's already air. And the cylinder itself, it should have primitivity of 12.5. So in the refractive index, I plug square root of 12.5. Then I go to the physics, choose boundary periodic condition. I choose these two boundaries here, apply flow k periodicity, k 
kx and ky i duplicate this one here but to the other two sides of the unit cell and the last thing that i need to solve for an out of plane vector so i need to solve only for easy i also can uh, label this as a dielectric I can go to the mesh you can use user defined but for this simple structure you can keep it physics controlled mesh and build old yes here we have error because we still didn't give frequency here or the frequency is very large compared to the radius so I choose zero and I need to solve for five modes for example or four modes so I need to solve for four modes and search for all modes around zero here. Um, yeah, for now everything looks fine. And here I already built the mesh. You can choose more final mesh from the extremely fine property. And also you can mo choose more fine uh, mesh by using user controlled mesh as i said the small parameter k will span all my first brilliant zone so i go to parametric sweep and add this parameter k i have to keep it change from 0 to 3 and i choose 30 points for example for this it's already available and i can run my simulation it will take like one or two minutes. And finally, I get here the solution. You can display the electric field for any value of this case and for each value of K you have already four bands. So for example at the gamma point we know that we should have only the monopole mode and if you plot easy you'll get it something like this. And the second mode should be dipolar for example something like this and so on. <clears throat> so now how to plot the dispersion diagram or the band diagram of the photonic crystal you go to the results here choose one d plot group and from one d plot group right click choose global and in this global we will plot the frequency we need to plot the frequency the eigenfrequency we already solved for but i will normalize it by a divided by the speed of light just to make it consistent with this paper here because as you see they plotted normalize the frequency omega a divided by 2 pi c so i already make the normalization here uh, and finally i can choose the solution from this parametric solution here and then go to the global and make sure that you already choose the outer solution so you should choose the outer solution and where we can get this outer solution is from here instead of eigenfrequency choose outer solution and keep this parameter value as as it as you see here, I already plot the dispersion diagram. I have k on this axis, so 0 is m point, 1 is gamma, 2 is x, and 3 is gamma again. You can, of course, have your automatic legend here, or manual 1. So I call this band 1, band 2, band 3, and band 4.
also on the y-axis label I can plot it or can uh, label it as in the paper and the final thing is I need to make this uh, line more thick uh, so I go to here and first like let this legend here in the center of the figure and we can make the title type to be the band diagram of the photonic crystal and where we can choose this uh, the width of this line is actually from I don't remember uh, yeah, it's from here. You can adjust the width to be something like this. Now, I take this one, compare it with the paper. This was a previous solution I already did for five pens. And actually, when you put these two figures above each other, you will find excellent match. So this method actually solved the band diagram of photonic crystal. And that was today's tutorial. Um, keep any comment if you have any question and I can share this model with you. And that's it for today. Thank you.